guys, it's Yorkie here, and welcome to the channel for our very first look at the brand new historic versions of the Nordish Life that have come to Automobilista 2. Here they are in the menu. Three new layouts we got the Gessem Strecker Historic 1971. I do, absolutely, I do apologize if I absolutely butcher the pronunciations here. We got the Nordish Life Historic 1971, and then we got the Schutz Life Historic 1971 layout. As you can see, compared to the current more modern day 2020 layout they are very very similar but we'll do a very nice comparison uh between the modern layout and this historic layout and we're going to drive this one here with uh what looks like the old church track uh gp sort of like pit paddock sort of areas that is going to be the closest to the actual modern day version but before we get into that comparison let's actually do a full lap here of this Nordschleife 1971 circuit. So here we are on the very old start-finish straight. Just going past the pit lane there on the right-hand side and approaching the first couple of corners, which are actually very, very tight. I've done a lap or two here already just to kind of familiarise myself with the Nordschleife because I have not driven the Nordschleife in a very, very long time. Having navigated those first couple of corners, we now go Back in the other direction that we just came from. Down the other side of the paddock. Looks very, very tight there over on the right-hand side. Anyway, now into this very heavily cambered left-hander. And now we're on to the Nordsch Life section as we know it. So over the bridge and into Sabine Schmidt's curve. What used to be turn 13. And all this should look very familiar. However, also slightly different as we come through the fast right-hander there, especially the tree line there up on the right-hand side. And also the curbs and just the general tree lines of where the spectators are and barriers and everything else like that. It's quite a stark contrast between this 1971 historic version that Riza have recreated here with the hedgerows on either side of the track oh so very close to the circuit's edges as we fly over the bridge and come up now towards Blugplatz. Not actually catching as much air as I was expecting going over the top of that, although we are obviously in a modern day GT3 car. So, just quite a bit of downforce, but obviously after the incident many years back where the spectator unfortunately lost their life, that section was, uh, was flattened out a little bit more to kind of take away the jump, but with this being the historic version, I was expecting the jump to kind of be there, but it wasn't. Either way, very, very familiar layout as we now come down in towards the foxhole. This section is quite a bit more bumpy than it is in real life now. Obviously, safety standards compared to the very early 70s to modern day is, uh, is really quite astonishing. As you can see, just fence lines there on the left hand side of the track you've got massive group of banking which you can quite easily go up and find yourself in the spectators areas hedgerows as we saw earlier on tree lines a little bit a little bit later on the braking but we kind of managed to bring it back and then the curbs the curbs are missing in some places in other places they are there but they are they're different as we're now into uh miss hit miss and a kind of missed the hit so we now come into the slowest section and there's boy, quite a lot of oversteer there there's actually a bridge there which not everyone would be able to tell from uh the modern day version but there is a bridge there just come now down towards the village there's a bridge here as well and there's a jump out the other side as we drop down into the dip and back up the rise into the crest there where it goes very very light this is astonishing i know we're in a modern day gt3 car but this is going to be such a fun track to drive in his some historic race cars look at a curb there on the inside it's so aggressive compared to the curbs that you find on modern day circuits obviously also completely unpainted some of the curbstones 
are actually very, very similar to how they are. And obviously the overall layout as well has been very well maintained. A lot of the similar sort of like undulations. Obviously the track has been smoothed out in various different places, been resurfaced, which has eliminated some of the bumps, but a lot of the overall characteristics that we're seeing here on this 1971 version are still very much there in present day as well. Especially the carousel here, which is pretty much untouched. Exactly as it is. Near enough. So we come up now into probably my favourite section of the track. Such a nice, fast and flowing section. Differences. Some of the curbs that you use as reference, or you like to use on the exit of corners, are no longer there. And you can't use them, especially coming down through this section here. There's no curbs and concrete there on the inside, so your line actually has to readjust. Oh, as you can see, it actually makes that section quite a bit tighter. Compared to the modern day layout. Obviously, curbs are a lot more aggressive and unforgiving now than they uh, than they were. But there's no concrete there to use on the inside on that curb. Now I come down into flats gone. Same flow as it has modern day break either slightly before or once you land back down on the ground as you come through Flats Garden 2, this section completely flat out, car bouncing and bobbing around through the undulations. Oh, I've got to break too late there, but it's fine, we managed to keep it on the circuit. Now come into the Kleiner Carousel, which is different, there's concrete all the way across to the inside curbstone there, whereas uh, it's been re time out on the inside section. And then coming through this corner here, there's a jump in the middle of the long right-hander. It's absolutely ridiculous as we're now onto the Dottinger Ho. Hedgerows either side going over the bridges. As you can see, quite a lot more undulations in the circuit compared to the modern day. And you know what's really, really scary about this section? It's back in the day, the marshals would have been stood there at the track side against the hedge fully exposed to cars doing speeds in excess of what we're doing now or probably similar sort of speeds actually 160 170 sort of miles an hour of the old formula one cars may go a little bit quicker using the old braking point and then around about there that right-handed turn is probably where you go on to the Nordschleife tourist fun sort of route, but that is a full lap of the historic circuit. Now let's take a look at the two side by side.
so there we have it then a look at the historic version of the Nordschleife in Automobilista 2 with the comparison against the modern 2020 version of the circuit hopefully you guys enjoyed this video if you have any comments or questions feel free to leave them down in the comment section below and I'll get back to you but otherwise please consider subscribing if you are new here but until the next video thanks for watching have fun stay safe and take care